Today I will be showing you all the different things I've prepared in the pre-patch to be as ready as possible for the Cataclysm release, and some of these things will definitely be seen as min-maxing. Alright, so in Dalaran there's going to be a quest you can pick up, and this will reward you with a Hearthstone that you can only use once. It will take you either to Stormwind City as an Alliance player, or Okuma as a Horde player. I would highly recommend you not to use this item yet, as it will be better to keep this for when you are leveling in the new zones. The reason for this is because at some point you will have to go back to the main city, either to learn new spells, to sell or buy something on the auction house, or maybe even to pick up a new important quest to go to a new zone. So this will be the perfect time to use the hero's hearthstone. Apparently on the beta we can use our honor to purchase new cataclysm materials to speed level our professions. So what you could do is to prepare 4000 honor on as many characters as possible, so when we can level in Cataclysm, you can purchase these and therefore also level up your professions rather quickly. The fastest way to gain honor is going to be by doing battle for Windergrasp. This happens every 3 hours, and no matter if you win or lose, you're going to be rewarded with a lot of honor, especially if you win. In fact, there's even another way to get these new materials rather quickly. You can spend the currency justice points. So if you have any old characters where you don't need the currency, then you can spend this and purchase these materials. The quickest way to gain justice points is simply just to do dungeons and heroics. So if you still don't know what to do in the pre-patch, then you could be farming justice points on your old characters. You could also be maxing out your professions, so you are ready to get these to 525 very soon. However, this doesn't mean that you should be leveling your professions to 450 in the pre-patch. You could just be leveling these to 425. The reason for this is because in Cataclysm you will only need to be 425 to learn the new profession skill and also some of the new crafts. A quick example could be with leatherworking and skinning. If you skin the new creatures into different zones, you will be getting these leather scraps, and those you can convert into savage leather and level up your leatherworking. So it's basically also going to be free. What I'm doing myself is to max out all the professions in the pre-patch. Some of you might be curious why. Well, as I will then be collecting all the new materials in Cataclysm, I will be able to use these to get to 525 a lot quicker. If I didn't prepare this, then I would also have to use the new materials just to do the first 25 levels to make sure I was 450. And no, you won't just be able to convert letter scraps to get to 450. No matter what you decide to do, if you have a gather profession, you should max this out in the pre-patch, as this will also reduce the chance of you failing when you perform skinning, mining or herbing. Remember to also level up the new profession, Archaeology, as you can gain many different level 85 epics from the profession. What I've done myself is also to prepare many different fragments. This preparation will allow me to get the profession to 525 a couple of minutes after the launch of Cataclysm. For those of you that hasn't done this profession yet, make sure to check out my channel as you can find yourself an archaeology leveling guide there. When you start your leveling journey, you don't want to spend 5 minutes and then discovering you will have to go back to sell items in order to make room for a new quest item. So make sure to clean up your bags. And talking about bags, you could also purchase new ones to increase your inventory space. Or head into the raid Obsidian Santum, where you have a chance of getting yourself a 22 slot. There's also going to be a bag you can get in Forge of Souls, and even from Onyxia. And when you kill Onyxia, there's also a small chance that you might be lucky enough to get the new item that begins a quest. This quest you can then complete at the launch day to gain a bit of additional experience. And there's many different things you could prepare in order to get to level 81 a lot quicker. I've made a complete guide with everything I'm preparing, and you can find this either in the description or on my channel. So like I mentioned before, sell items on the auction house, especially materials that are currently worth a lot in the pre-patch, as these will also be worth a lot less in Cataclysm. I'm currently doing this myself, and also selling some of my Transmog items, and as of right now, I'm sitting at a bit more than 300,000 gold. I expect to spend most of this gold during the launch week, as I will need to purchase myself level 85 rare and epic items, but also materials so I can speed level my professions to 525 as quickly as possible. If you don't know what to do with your gold, then you could purchase this ring in Dalaran. It allows you to teleport yourself to Dalaran, but it doesn't share cooldown with your hearthstone. And the good thing is that in Dalaran City, there's also going to be a portal to Stormwind City and Okuma. So you could bind your hearthstone to where you're questing, and then use this ring whenever you need to go back to the main city to train or do something else. If you still have some leftover gold, you could also purchase the Traveler's Mammoth in Dalaran. 
This mount is so insane as it allows you to render and repair at any given time, so you don't have to spend time going back to a town or any other location to sell your items. Ever since the pre-patch went live, there's also been introduced new glyphs to the game. If you haven't got those, you should make sure to check out the auction house and look if there's anything specific you will need when you're going to level up from 80 to 85. You should also join a guild and focus on guild reputation. This is going to be important as you can get yourself useful items, for example a tabat that will increase your guild reputation gained, a cloak you can use to teleport to either Stormwind City or Okuma, but also Earlum cloaks and even Earlum helms. As of right now and in the beginning of Cataclysm, they will only work up to level 80. Blizzard has announced that later on they will improve these items so it works all the way up to 85. Therefore, it's also a good decision to prepare these, so by the time they improve these, you're also ready to equip them on your all characters to increase your leveling speed. In the beginning of this video, I was mentioning Wintergrasp as a great way to get honor, and this honor you could then keep for Cataclysm to purchase new materials for professions. But what you can also do with the honor in the pre-patch is to purchase 277 PvP weapons in Dalaran. These weapons you could be using in the beginning when you're leveling in the new Cataclysm zones to complete the different quest a bit quicker. But you gotta be aware of one thing, most weapons will be replaced quite early on, probably even before you get to level 81, and this is the same case with Shadowmorn. Especially if you head into dungeons in the beginning, as the first dungeons will reward 308 item level equipment. So these will be better than Shadowmorn and probably any gear you have got yourself in ICC Heroic. Nonetheless, then there's yet another reason for farming honor in the pre-patch. Store 4000 honor as you can use this the moment you reach level 85 to purchase new PvP items. Even though these are PvP items, then the item level is insanely high. So as a fresh level 85 character, you can use it to boost your item level so you can also sign up to a random heroic even quicker. Nonetheless, if you're also fully green geared, these items will be better for PvE as well. For those of you that doesn't wish to use these items in PvE, you could just store them in your inventory as this will still boost your item level and you will need 329 item level to sign up for a random heroic. Another quick way to boost your item level is to prepare 4000 justice points in the pre-patch. You could also just be farming dungeons as you're leveling to 85 as this will also reward you with justice points. But keep these for level 85, as you can then head to the Justice Quartermaster, either in Stormwind City as an Alliance player, or in Okrama as a Horde player. At the Quartermaster, you can get rare items that is equal to what you get in a Heroic, so this will be yet another great way to boost your item level, so you can also start doing a raid even quicker. What you should also start considering is where you will be leveling at the launch day. Is it going to either be in Mount Hygel or Vashir? Well, this all depends if you would like to get one reputation or another one, if there's going to be rare items you would like to obtain, or maybe there's a whole other specific reason. What I will do myself is of course to level in these zones as I will need the reputation, and therefore I will also be following a leveling guide that will guide me through the best possible route to quickly reach 85, but also to do important quests that rewards me a lot of experience, and of course a lot of reputation. For more information about this guide, make sure to use the link below this video, as it will redirect you to where you download the add-on. Another great way to level up a bit quicker is to get different potions, for example potion of speed to increase your haste rating, it could also be swim speed potions if you're going to level in Vashir, or any other potions that will just increase your overall performance. While you're on your auction house, make sure to also purchase different Wrath of the Lich King flask. These you can use all the way up to 85, at least in the beginning when people haven't discovered the new Cataclysm flask and still collecting the different materials to craft these. So I hope you enjoyed this guide. Soon I'll release a lot of other useful Cataclysm videos, for example gold making, tips and tricks, yeah the list goes on and on. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get notified when I'm posting these. This will also help me as a content creator so I can hopefully reach 40,000 subscribers this year.